Everyone deserves love, and we all need it too. But sometimes, whether we deserve it or not, we just shouldn't be in a relationship. It might seem fun, important, or necessary from the outside, but when you're in a relationship, there are responsibilities you may not be prepared for. You have to consider the mental health, emotional well-being, and fulfillment of your partner. Beyond that, many people forget that you have to consider all of these facets for yourself as well. So how do we know whether we're ready for that or not? How do you act in your other relationships? Are you always bumping heads with your friends and family? Even if it's not your fault, how do you handle arguments? If you tend to struggle with compromise and communication, it could foreshadow the downfall of your relationship. You might think, well, if I really love them, communication and compromise will come easily. But that's not always the case. Bad communication and stubbornness can become habitual behaviors. According to a study on human behavior and habit forming by social scientist Dr. Wanda Yeager, if you typically communicate in a stubborn or abrasive way, it could be very difficult to break that habit. Introducing someone new to your habits, no matter how much you love them, will not break those habits. Instead, you can first try to improve your communication and conflict resolution with your friends and family. How do you feel about yourself? Do you know who you want to be? Are you trying to fulfill yourself or do you think this relationship will fulfill you? Working on yourself means more than just trying to be better for other people. The goal of personal growth is to become the ideal version of yourself, where you are comfortable with who you are and the path you're on. Going into a relationship with intense insecurities and jealousy can be destructive. Other examples like aggression and manipulation can lead to trauma. We don't all have to be perfect to enter a relationship but we should at least recognize our flaws and work on them. If you are relying on this person to fulfill you, or if you don't know what kind of person you want to be, it probably isn't a good time for a relationship. Do you know what you want? What are your plans for the future outside of this person? It probably isn't a good idea to enter a relationship knowing it will obstruct the life you want in the future. For example, your partner may be adamant that they want to travel the world and vlog for a living, but you are in the middle of pursuing a career in teaching. Your first instinct might be to try and fit yourself into that vision, but is it the life you want? This doesn't just apply to careers. Do you want children or to move to a different country? These are all huge things to consider and compromise can only go so far. If you or your partner aren't pursuing the life you want because one of you had to compromise, it can lead to lifelong resentment. So be firm in your goals and make sure there's room for someone at your side. Do you change to attract people? Are you a social chameleon? There's nothing wrong with adapting to be more likable. But if you tend to find yourself mirroring not only their opinions, emotions, or even physical habits to the point you grow out of touch with yourself, then maybe you're not ready for a relationship again. Again, it's about pursuing life satisfaction and whether or not you and your partner can be fulfilled in this relationship. While the social chameleon effect can make someone like you on a temporary, superficial level, being less like yourself all the time will build resentment in the future. Ultimately, being authentic and embracing your unique self is good for your mental well-being and the confidence and honesty that comes from that can make you more desirable. Do you feel pressured? As obvious as it sounds, you shouldn't enter a relationship if you don't want to. There doesn't have to be a reason. You might not have strong enough feelings, or maybe it's just a gut feeling. No matter what, if it feels wrong, don't do it. Maybe you have to learn about yourself more, deal with your past experiences, or focus on your future. Sometimes you or the person you like just can't be in a relationship, and that's okay. Even if it feels like time is racing past us, it doesn't mean you should rush into a relationship. We all need love, but that doesn't have to come in the form of a romantic relationship. Embrace your family and your friends, and most importantly, embrace yourself. You don't have to be perfect or flawless to be in a relationship. Keep working on yourself, get used to being yourself, and love yourself. If you feel like you are ready for a relationship, that's great. And if you feel like you need to give it more time, that's also great. If we've helped you consider some things for your future or realize some things about your past, let us know in the comments below. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. You've got this.